Hey there, I'm Kizma. I'm your Prosperity Code mentor and co-host of Illumination Podcast. And I'm here to share a meditation that I do every day. And I also give to my advanced students and clients. One of the things that people share with me around seeking prosperity is that they can't seem to let go of the past or they're carrying some guilt. Now, guilt is a really heavy emotion. It's a prosperity disruptor. As well, when we're sitting in the past, we're not able to find our way to the present right here and now, which is so powerful in order to create our future. So I take them through a meditation chant, Om Mani Padme Om. Now we go through a lot of prosperity commands in my inner circle, the ashram and the school of prosperous thought, yet this Om Mani Padme Om is such a powerful meditation for forgiveness and forgiveness is necessary in order to build prosperity. Think about it this way. If you're holding resentment towards someone or an event and that is sticking into your field, you know, we all have a, an energetic field and it's sticking in your field. You're creating a lens from which you see life through a lens of resentment, a lens of guilt, a lens of shame as well. If you're not accepting forgiveness from someone else, or if you've hurt someone and inside you haven't really made amends or you're not forgiving yourself, it all becomes very sticky in your field. And our desire is that you can have a lens that you see life through that is crystal clear, that is vibrant and allows you to see and visualize and then take what I call magnificent action directly to manifest what you want. Now, the Om Mani Padme Om is such a beautiful chant. It represents, you know, Om is that universal sound symbol for Brahmin. Mani is a gem. It is this jewel. Padme is the lotus. And Om is really stating, so be it, in full faith, this anchor of stating your mantra and living it and breathing it and accepting the healing from it. And there is a particular goddess that shows up when we chant Om Mani Padme Om, and that is Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin she has so much love and so much compassion for humanity that she has chosen, even though she is a bodhisattva, even though she is a realized soul, an ascended master, she has chosen to be with us until every human reaches self-realization. She has a fierce love and an inordinate amount of compassion for each and every one of us, for the planet. And so this is a beautiful chant to call her in, to call in the energy of Kuan Yin to heal, to release the past, to let go of past traumas so that our present and future is really standing firm in the willingness to love self, to love our human, our fellow human beings, to love the planet and to be that clean container for the spiritual energy that is running through you because it is. So I want you to go through this as often as you need to, because suffering is not a state that is of your highest divine self. We are actually not here to suffer. We suffer because the conditioned human mind takes on attachment, takes on limiting beliefs, anchors into paradigms, and then we don't shine and sparkle with our divinity. So let's start with forgiveness, the cleanse of forgiveness. We heal through forgiveness. We manifest through forgiveness. We open the channels of abundance through forgiveness, and we increase our power center, our confidence when we let go. Because when we fully forgive others, ourselves, we have released doubt. We have released worry. We're out of anxiety and in certainty. And this is really the important teaching for right here and right now. Sometimes forgiveness cannot be easy, yet it's really for you. It's an understanding that if someone has hurt you deliberately, it's not okay, but you get to choose to let go of it. 
And if you have hurt someone deliberately or by accident, it heals your soul, it heals your spirit to ask for forgiveness. So today we are going to forgive those who have hurt us and we're going to seek forgiveness from people that we have hurt and then we're going to forgive ourselves. This is going to allow you to receive all of that clean and clear spiritual energy right through you like this beautiful white light so that you can allow it to come through a clean and crystal field, direct it with what you want and impress it into what we know is this rich spiritual and unlimited substance around us. So we're using the energy of source of universe and we're using the chant Om Mani Padme Om. So let's begin. Close your eyes and just call in, invoke your higher self. Your higher self is that version of you that has all of the great qualities that you desire. Call her in, call him in. Your higher self will be with you. Your higher self will guide this meditation and the cleanse that goes along with it. And just imagine that you see your higher self or you feel the presence of your higher self. And then I want you to use your beautiful imagination, which is a higher faculty of your mind, to bring in people that you have hurt. And you will know who they are. They'll pop right into your mind, whether you hurt them intentionally or unintentionally. See them. Bring them into a semicircle in front of you. Look at each person right in their face, right in their eyes, right in their soul. Have a feeling, a sense deep in your heart of understanding that you have hurt them even if you, if it was not intentional and allow that understanding to bring a sense of knowing that you are willing to receive their forgiveness, that you might even have a sense of sadness, definitely of remorse of hurting another being and feel this energy of love coming from your crown and out of your heart. And then raise your hands, your palms, and just allow straight from your crown, the spiritual energy coming down through you out of your heart and out of your hands onto this group of people that you seek forgiveness from. Make a commitment to yourself that you will never again choose to hurt them that you will never again choose to hurt another being, to harm them in any way. Breathe in and breathe out and think of this beautiful, beautiful pink golden light going on them, around them, sending love, blessing them with so much divine love, sending peace and love, blessing them with so much divine peace and love and just holding that image of them being surrounded with this beautiful pink golden light and if any emotions come up allow them to come up if you see emotions coming up in them as you bring them into your imagination allow that to happen and breathe and then simply repeat these words May the universe's energy of love and peace be with you all. And may you forgive me for in any way that I have hurt you. May the universe and spirit and God's energy of peace and love and forgiveness be with you and with me. I seek forgiveness. I ask forgiveness. In full faith, I receive your forgiveness and thank you. And breathe in and just breathe out and sit with this for a moment. Be present to it. Be present to the love, the true love that is going out around them. 
Be present to Quan Yin being around us. Be present to their willingness from their higher self to your higher self to forgive you. Receive that. Breathe in and breathe out. And then slowly you will see these people in front of you and you will do the same. Bring your hands together and give a soft bow and simply state lovingly, go with a piece of spirit and God and universe and source. I release you. And then close your eyes again and bring in all the people that you feel have hurt you. And this one might bring up some emotions. It's okay. Bring in every person that you feel has hurt you and you just haven't been able to let go. There's a thread or there's a big cord or there's a huge amount of emotion towards them. Bring them in and see them one by one. Look them in the face, look them in the eyes, into their soul, and allow them to create a semicircle in front of you. And even if it's the smallest of grudge or a very, very big pain point, put them in front of you, see them, and imagine this beautiful energy coming down from your crown through your heart, out of your hands, and project so much love project and send that beautiful pink golden light. Send out peace and calm, healing energy. And quietly to yourself, repeat, may the universe energy of peace and love be with my soul and your soul. May the spirit and God's energy of peace and love be with your soul and my soul. You are completely forgiven. I forgive you. My soul loves your soul. I release you. Go in peace. So be it. So be it. So be it. In full faith. And imagine. This cleansing energy continues to go through you and just know, have this acceptance that you have forgiven. And then feel them bow and begin to turn away and go and be on. And then I want you to bring yourself in front of you, whatever image of you is right there in front of you. Recognize all the times that you have not forgiven yourself, all of the grudges, all of the blame or the shame or the guilt. And I want you to definitely right here and now forgive self. So see yourself, raise your hands and imagine so much love coming from your crown, from your heart, Sending love to yourself, sending peace and love, sending peace and love and calm. And simply say, I forgive myself. I release the pain I'm holding on to. I release the shame, the guilt, the anxiety. I release, I forgive myself. And I receive the blessings of peace and love from universe, spirit, God, source, and always. And now release your hands. You can leave your palms up if you want. And we're going to chant. And you may chant openly. You may chant to yourself. I like chanting out loud. It cleanses the energy. So let's do it together on the first one. And the intention with this chant is that it is sending Kuan Yin's divine love, divine compassion, divine healing to all of the beings that you had just brought in to yourself and to the entire planet. Take a breath in. 
to be with us with her radiant love and compassion teaching us all of the spiritual lessons oh mani padme Be present to the silence between the chant. Om Mani Padme Om. Now I want you to sit back. I want you to imagine this beautiful code that is in front of you is coming down through your crown, cleansing out any energetic congestion or blockage that prevents true forgiveness and true receptivity. Allow it to come down into your face, into the back of your head, into your throat, and down your central vertical channel going out both sides of every chakra. Allow this code and the highest spiritual energy to purify and cleanse your auric field and your chakras. And then just listen to the chant and receive your cleansing, your healing, your activation of higher self. And pay attention to the silence between the chant. Om Mani Padme Mani Padme Home Om. Mani Padme Let all the divine energy, the spiritual energy pour through you with love and light and power, cleansing out any places where there's any residue of resentment or hurt or pain and filling up every, every cell of your being with love and light and power. Breathe in and breathe out and bring attention to your entire field. Use your imagination to see this beautiful, bright, white, golden light coming down through your crown and out every cell of your being. And once again, receive this mantra. Om Mani Padme Hum. Let there be peace and forgiveness and love and prosperity to all.
Mani Padme Hom. Let there be so much peace, so much forgiveness, complete forgiveness, love, and prosperity to all. Om Mani Padme Hom. Let there be peace and forgiveness and love and prosperity to all. Allow the great ones and the holy ones, our dear Kuan Yin, to support us and love us, to pour the energy of healing through us. Om Mani Padme. May every being on the planet be blessed with love, with healing, with so much peace and prosperity. Om Mani Padme Om Mani Padme May you receive so much love and light and power and abundance and joy. Receive it into every cell of your being and choose to move forward with all of these beautiful gifts from the universe, from God, spirit, and source. Namaste. Namaste.